San Antonio Spurs, right? Spurs are three and seven. They get the number one pick. They take Victor Wimanyama. And in the world we live in with instant gratification, everyone needs to see instant results right away. And I think the reason that is more than anything is because when you see instant results, you know you can, like, you know whatever the case is, a player, a team, a coach, whatever it is, you know, oh, well, if he's good right away, then he can be good. Like, it's not going to take this long development. When they're not good at the beginning, again, team coach, player, the back of your head is always saying, I don't know if they can be good because I haven't seen it yet, right? So what should I expect them to be? Not good. Expect them to be underperforming. A lot of people were super quick to point out Victor Wimanyama's flaws and maybe his slight lack of production first two weeks, first week of the season in the NBA. I think I can confidently say most people would agree. Yeah, you know what? You can say this with a lot of number one picks, but it's all speculation. And a lot of times it's hope because you say, oh, I've seen what he can do in college. Okay. I've seen what he can do before the NBA. That's a decent reference point. It's a little bit more difficult with a guy like Victor Wimanyama coming over from Europe, right? He's not coming out of the big time college basketball world that we have in the United States. But Victor Wimanyama comes over, struggles literally for like five games, maybe, maybe five games. People are like, oh, that's that's what that's what I don't know. And a lot of people also thought, yeah, he's a rookie. He'll probably take some time to develop. Some of the plays we've already seen from Victor Wimbanyama is enough for me to say confidently that by potentially this time next year and definitely in his second year, he'll be in the mix for top five player in the league, if not potentially running away with MVPs. If he can stay on the court, if the Spurs can start to improve, add some supplemental pieces around him, there's no reason why Victor Wimbanyama shouldn't be in the same conversation as Nikola Jokic as Giannis Antetokounmpo, all the big boys you want to talk about. And I say big boys, I mean like personality and contribution big boys, but also physically, Victor Women <laughs> is doing things that none of those other guys can do. Giannis, potentially. But I don't even think Giannis is quite as good a shooter as Victor Women Yama. Like Giannis doesn't like to take threes. He can, and he'll make them. But Women Yama, at any point, will be posting a guy up and almost make his way out to the three-point line because he likes and wants to take that shot, and then he hits it effortlessly. Same with Nikola Jokic. He'll take threes, one, maybe two a game. Wembenyama, if push comes to shove and they're loading the box underneath the basket, he'll just stay outside. He'll shoot. Elbow. He'll shoot. That's a type of talent and a type of player. The NBA, I'm not sure, has ever seen. Of course, you can have some historical reference back to some of the all-time greats, but as everybody knows, it's different eras, different times. A lot of that stuff... Yeah, you know, it's on film, but it's also a lot of like word of mouth in terms of, oh, this guy was this good. And this is how I know with Victor Wimanyama, It's right in front of us. I mean, he's just he's got a seven and a half foot wingspan. He shoots threes. He catches alley-oops like a foot above the rim. He doesn't jump when he dunks. It, the guy is so crazy. And I think from what I've seen already, I, I'm prepared to put it down right now that he'll be in top five, top 10 consideration as early as his second year in the league, potentially. MVP caliber, second or third year. That's how good this guy's going to be. He's an absolute freak. He's an absolute freak.